Hi everyone, Mr. K here with another video on Game Maker. This time we are going to cover temporary invincibility. Uh, temporary invincibility is something that um, when you're dealing with getting hit in the game as the player, um, at least with the way Game Maker works, collision events uh, occur every single frame. So what happens is if you get hit, you will get hit and the hit will register every single frame until you and the enemy are not touching. Um, to demonstrate this, I got this quick demo set up where I have my player and I have bullets flying across the screen. Now, the thing with this game is the bullets are not going to be destroyed when they hit me. They're just going to pass through me, kind of like how you might have, I don't know if you want to think of Super Mario Bros. like a Goomba. Um, if a Goomba runs into you, the Goomba is not destroyed. So, for the sake of staying consistent with that, these bullets, and I'll show you, they just pass through me. But I have my health in the top left-hand corner there. And I have it set up. I have the code. Move this out of the way. I'm going to show you the incorrect code. At least the code I don't want. Health is decreasing by one whenever I collide with an object bullet. But the problem is I am colliding with this bullet for multiple frames. So when it's hitting me, it's knocking me down by five health every single time. And if I happen to travel with the bullet, it can knock me down even more. Now I'm in negatives. Um, so the idea is, and you see this in a lot of a um, lot of different games where you, if you make contact with an enemy, you get hit. You don't get hit every single frame. You get hit once, and then there's this brief there's this brief period of invincibility where you don't get hit again. This allows you to, well, first off, it allows you to not get killed instantly because your life just got sucked out of you, but it also allows you to get out of the way of danger. So we want to duplicate that here and. I have it set up already. Uh, we're actually going to comment this out, not use it anymore, and we're going to use our correct code. And I will first show you what's going on with it, and then we will walk through it together. So the idea here is you want to have uh, the temporary invincibility. I have it set up for one second of invincibility, and you also want some kind. You want some kind of indicator to the player that they are invincible. The typical one being blinking. Um, just because I've been playing a lot of it. Binding of Isaac I know does this, and I know there's tons of other games that do it. Super Mario Brothers does it. It's almost universal, where if you get hit, it's basically blink to show the player that they are invincible and they got to get the hell out of the way. So, here we go. So I get hit by a bullet, only one health gets decreased, and I get a little blinking effect afterwards to show that I am invincible for the moment. And then as soon as the blinking stops, I can get hit again. Hmm. I guess I have this set up in a way that as soon as I stop blinking, I get hit again. Timing's almost perfect. It looks like the blinking doesn't stop, but my health is still going down. So, anyway, sorry, I got distracted there. Pretty neat. Um, so let's walk through it. So what we want to, what we're concerned about here is what happens when we actually collide with a bullet. So I have a simple collision event with a bullet set up, and let's take a look at the correct code. So, the only thing it does is it has this if statement. It checks to see if we have been recently hit. Now, when I start the game, I have recently hit set to false. Okay, um, game just started. Have you been hit? No, I haven't been hit, so it's going to be set to false. So, if recently hit is false, decrease the health by one, set recently hit equal to true, and then trigger an alarm. And I have the alarm set for one second. Now the alarm will deal with in a second, basically this is just a quick, this is like a flag. We're turning on the fact that we've recently be hit, been hit, which means this if statement will not activate again until this flag is turned off. That's where this alarm comes in. So you get hit, health decreases by one, we um, set recently hit equal to true, meaning we can't get hit again. This alarm goes off and a second later, it turns the flag back off. Simple as that. Um, that's the easy part, is just basically setting that flag and then preventing yourself from being hit with just a simple if statement. Now the trick is the blinking that goes on. This all happens down here in this draw event and at first glance it looks a little bit messy but it's not too bad. Um, first off, there's an if statement up here and then the else for the catch-all afterwards, but the if statement we'll talk about in a second. The else statement happens pretty much all the time. This 
top part only happens if we've been recently hit. So for that one second of temporary invincibility, this is the blinking code right here. This is what typically happens is this draw self. Draw self simply just draws the sprite. That's it. Um, you need it in here because the draw, at least I'm pretty sure you need it in there. Should have tested beforehand if I took it out. Um, clearly not an expert on this stuff. This is in here because the way draw events work, if you start calling draw events for an object, if something is absent, nothing will be drawn. So as soon as you start using draw events, you have to put something in there that actually draws the sprite itself, or else you won't see anything on the screen. This part up here is for the blinking. Now, what happens is, is if you have been recently hit, another if statement gets called. And this if statement basically looks at a counter and does some fancy math with it, which I'll talk about in a second. Counter needs to be talked about first. The counter, which I initialized back at the very beginning, I start at zero. And then I have a counter increment that happens on every step. Counter plus plus just increases the counter by one every single frame, every single, um, every single step, I should say. Every single step of the room, the counter is incremented. So it's basically, it just, it just goes up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Now the reason for this is because what we want to do is we want to get this kind of temporary, you know, this pattern of blinking and not blinking. So what we use here is this math thing called mod or modulo. What it does is it takes a number and divides it by this other number, I guess it would be called a divisor. And then what it does is it doesn't calculate the quotient, it calculates the remainder. So if I spit in, if this counter was at 10, 10 mod 5 would be 0 because 10 divided by 5, well that goes in evenly so there's no remainder. If this number was 6, 6 mod 5 would be 1 because 6 divided by 5 doesn't go evenly. If you go through the long division, you'll end up getting a remainder of 1. So the way I have it set up here, and you might want to do it differently, uh, it's all about what aesthetic you're looking for, is I have it set up so, and the other way you can think of this is every fifth frame, Every fifth frame, my sprite is drawn, but on every other frame, so the first frame, second frame, third, fourth, the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, instead of the regular sprite being drawn, I draw the same exact sprite except with a opacity of 0 0.25 or an alpha of 0 0.25. So the rest of this stuff is just default. It's the avatar sprite. The, it's the zero sub image because I have no animation going. Um, it's in the same exact location of where it's supposed to be. No scaling or normal scaling. No rotation. Normal blending or white blending. It's just this alpha that's going to be different. So my sprite doesn't disappear completely. I've seen other people do this where they just don't draw the sprite at all. Um, I drew it so that the sprite is still there. You can see it. It's just mostly transparent so it's again it's up to you aesthetically but the way I have it set up is every fifth frame there's a normal sprite drawn and then every other frame there is a transparent sprite drawn I keep saying frame I really should be saying step so just now that we know what the code is looks like there you go so I'm getting hit it's triggering the one second of invincibility and while that one second of invincibility is occurring I'm getting a uh, uh, sprite that's drawn that has an alpha 0 0.25 for most frames. This way it gives at least the illusion of, a, of blinking. Um, that's it. Uh, I guess this is a short one. Uh, and that's it. Bye.